Hey, so I finally found a way to turn any object in Blender to volume which then allows us to make these distortion effects which look so good and are impossible to make using regular mesh. Before we start, make sure to like the video and subscribe to support me because it took me so long to come up with this method. First of all, switch the render engine to cycles and the device to GPU. Then turn on motion blur and switch the amount to 0.7. Change the render samples to 200. Press Shift A and add a text. Press RX90. Go to edit mode and type your own word. The font I'm gonna be using is gonna be in the description and you can download it for free. And in the end, extrude the text by 0.05. Now just right click and convert to mesh. Go to the modifiers tab, add the remesh modifier, change it to sharp, turn off remove disconnected and change the depth to 9 and press ctrl A to apply. Now it's time to smooth out the text. Go to the sculpt mode, get the smooth tool, change the strength to around 0.3 and up the radius a little and smooth the text with left click. If your font is very thin like mine, you can get the inflate brush and make it thicker. Ok, go back to object mode, go to the materials tab and add a new material. Go to the shading tab, switch to world, shift A, add an environment texture node and connect it to the background node. Then add your HDRI, since we don't want the background, go to film and turn on transparent. Press Z and go to rendered mode and then press shift A and add the volume empty. With the volume selected, go to the modifiers tab and add the mesh to volume modifier. Select your text and then add the geometry nodes modifier and press new. Split the viewport in two and change the tab to geometry nodes. Press shift A and add a volume to mesh node and then press shift A and add a set material node. On the set material node, select the material we created earlier. On the mesh to volume modifier, change the density to 2.4, the exterior bandwidth to 0 and the voxel amount to 300. If you don't like the way the letters are positioned, you can always select the text, press tab to go to edit mode, and by pressing L on each letter, you can move them individually. And the volume will always move along with the text. Select the volume and add the volume displace modifier. Make sure you put the displace modifier in the middle. Press new, change the Y and Z value to 0 and the X to minus 0.2. Press the texture button and add the distorted noise texture. Now change the bottom tab to a shader editor and select the material we created earlier. I'll make the color yellow, change the subsurface value to 0.014, the specular value to 1 and the roughness to 0. Change the frame rate to 12, the end frame to 48 and collapse the shader editor. Now go to the volume displace modifier and in the first frame change the strength to 0.7 and add the keyframe by pressing I. On the 24th frame make the value 0.05 and on the 48th frame make the strength minus 0.04. Now press Shift A and add the camera, Ctrl Alt 0 to move the camera to your view and these are the controls to place your text in the middle of the frame. Before you render, change the voxel amount to something higher, I'll do 440 and then go to the compositing tab, tick use nodes and add the denoiser node. We are finally ready to render, thank you so much for watching the entire video, make sure to watch this one, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one, bye.